Welcome to the channel. I'm Rapid6 and here are 10 crazy wildlife facts you never heard of. Adult mayflies live less than 24 hours. The whole life purpose is to find partners and mate before they die. Many adult mayfly species don't have mouths and digestive systems because they don't live long enough to need them. Mayflies hatch from eggs at the bottom of freshwater deposits. They spend their first one to three years of their mayfly childhood, known as nymphs, in these deposits. When enough time has passed and the conditions are right, these nymphs transform and ascend to the water surface. Now fully winged, they rest on the surface of the water until their wings are dry, then set flight. Bones found at Seymour Island indicate that 37 to 40 million years ago, penguins stood at a formidable 6 feet tall and weighed 250 pounds. Fossilized remains of the extinct penguin were discovered on New Zealand's South Island. The penguin lived about 55 million years ago, one of the oldest known penguin species. Only two other species are known from as far back as 62 to 58 million years ago. The blue macaw parrot that inspired the movie Rio is now officially extinct in the wild. According to a study conducted by BirdLife International, in recent years several bird species have lost their fight for survival, and sadly one of those species is the beautiful Spix macaw. The species is now considered extinct in the wild and is reclassified as critically endangered. Some of the birds now survive in breeding programs in hopes to save them. With an average lifespan of 200 to 400 years, the Greenland shark is not fully grown until reaching 100 years old. This makes the Greenland shark the oldest living vertebrae in the world. They live their lives mostly restricted to the waters of the North Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. They live so long because they grow very slowly, about one centimeter a year, and reach maturity at about 100 years old. Now that's a long childhood. The Basenji is the oldest dog in the world. The Basenji is considered the oldest dog in the world according to a scientific study which compares genomic analysis of 161 current dog breeds. It is estimated these origins begin in the African continent where they were used for hunting and tracking prey. Their image was portrayed on some Egyptian tombs and are believed to be represented in hieroglyphs from their time. Snowy owls sometimes build their nests with piles of lemming corpses. Lemmings are the primary food source for snowy owls, and when their populations spike about every four years, the snowy owls go crazy. This increase in food supply also attributes to more eggs being laid, which in turn increases the snowy owl population. Some cats are allergic to humans the same way humans can be allergic to cats. In rare cases, cats can be allergic to people. Human allergies are uncommon since we bathe more often than most other species and we don't shed as much hair and dead skin, which in turn triggers our own allergies to pets. When cats do have a bad reaction to us, it's usually caused by a residue from our own perfume, soap, or laundry detergent. Any water-based cleaning products usually contain some preservatives. Cats tend to be more sensitive to chemicals than dogs. Authorities in Guam dropped acetaminophen-laced mice from helicopters to curb the invasive brown tree snake population. The U.S. Department of Agricultural Wildlife Services tested this aerial bait drop system in Guam's jungles. This involves airdropping dead mice filled with acetaminophen, a pain reliever found in medicines like Tylenol, to attract and kill snakes. Streamers attached to the mice get caught in the tree branches, suspending the mice where the snakes live. Scientists used elephant seals outfitted with sensors strapped to their heads to do research in Antarctica. The deep seal researchers dove over half a mile down to uncover how deep the ocean currents move. Elephant seals were able to reveal that deeper water does indeed circulate near the ice sheets, where it is warm enough to begin melting them. Squirrels were purposely introduced in American cities. Squirrels aren't natural city slickers. In 1856, the sight of one in a tree near New York's City Hall shocked passerbyers that the newspaper published a report about an unusual visitor. Around that time, the tree-dwelling rodents were being released in America's urban areas to create pockets of peace and calm. By the early 20th century, America began to regret the hospitality it had shown to squirrels. In 1970, many parks prohibited feeding the creatures. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section below and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.